And we're talking about all things New Year, the resolutions, and one of those may be getting your finances in order. In fact, that's one of the top resolutions every year. Yeah, and joining us this morning from Money Wise Wealth Management is CEO Sherrod Way. Good morning and Happy New Year, Sherrod. Good morning, great to be here. All right, so what should people do if they want to start the new year off on a fresh foot financially? Maybe yeah. they're feeling a little strained from all of the holiday spending. What is a good way to set yourself up for success in 2024? Yeah, people's biggest goal usually in the new years is to spend less, save more, mm -hmm. and pay down debt. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the new year is a great opportunity to sort of start doing that. Set it, you can start a, kind of with a clean slate and, and certainly spending less would involve creating a budget, which is, mm -hmm. can be very difficult for people, but there's some easy ways now, especially with technology and apps, for example. Do you have any you budget. recommend? Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't recommend a specific app, okay. but I'd recommend if you search for in your appropriate app store okay. for uh, financial management tools, usually okay. associated with your bank. Mm -hmm. Most banks will offer these services okay. and they're fantastic. They're, they're automated uh, budgeting tools that are secure and safe mm -hmm. if you're using the right, the right uh, yeah. provider. So the holidays are over and so many of us have just spent an absurd amount of money yeah. <laughs> on decorations, gifts, food, trips, you name it, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. It's almost like we have this financial hangover, if you will, because we've just gone so hard. Where do we start if we're just overwhelmed with how much we've spent? Just like a normal hangover, usually <laughs> the next day you don't want to drink anymore, right. right? So same thing when it comes to spending. It's a good, it's a natural good response to say, oh, okay, maybe I should pull back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I did tell myself I was going to buy that gift because I was going to cut out X, Y, Z or whatever expense. Mm -hmm. So follow through with those things. Okay. Listen to what your body's telling you. <laughs> the hangover is real. Uh, what about like if, if maybe one of your resolutions is to to invest this year or to begin investing. If you've never done that before, where do you start? Especially if you feel like, well, I don't have anything to invest, so like, yeah. you know, what's the point? Most people, if they have a job, and now in the state of California, your employer is required to provide some sort of retirement mm -hmm. plan or retirement savings goal, uh, savings plan for you. So that's the easiest way. Okay. Go with the way that can be automated. The thing that's the easiest entry uh, and make it automatically contributed out of your bank account or out of your paycheck, mm -hmm. and that's the easiest, simplest way to start. All right, it is January 1st. I know that you don't have a crystal ball in front of you to see what the markets are going to look like and what the economy is going to look like when we are here this time next year. But like, talk about the future and what this year holds. Obviously, inflation starting to come down. It is still up. A lot of people still struggling with immense amount of debt. So what is maybe a tip that you have as we go on to the next several months? I mean, you know, what is the advice that you give today that you would give in in Christmas in July. This is it. We're in a great situation right now, starting the new year, and where we are with in terms of interest rates, which is how much we are paying to borrow money. For example, to buy a house or to buy a car. Those interest rates are expected to either stay flat or come down this year. Mm. So that will be huge for consumers. We'll be able to hopefully afford that house or afford those payments. Uh, so having interest rates coming down or stabilizing could. Be be a real benefit to a lot of people. And as you mentioned, inflation was high, but it is trending down. And there's several things that are a lot cheaper, and we expect to be cheaper, continue to be cheaper this year than they were last year. Natural gas, for example, eggs, electric vehicles. There's a lot of products that people could take advantage of this year if prices continue to come down. All right, Sherrod Wait with Money Wise Wealth Management. Thank you very much for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. And happy new year. Happy new year. All right.